We're on weather alert once again this morning. Another day of high fire danger. Starting off looking from our Pueblo studios right now at the Vision Hills fire. A few occasional puffs of smoke have been visible over the last 30 minutes on this camera right in this area here. I know it's hard to see because of the camera bouncing around. The bouncing around is happening because we have gusty winds right now and taking a look at our current conditions at the Vision Hills fire. It's currently 49 degrees total sunshine in place for us. Humidity not too bad right now at 31%, but we are seeing the gusty breezes now out of the north. That's a change from yesterday at around 20 to 25 miles per hour. I also want to take a look at the conditions down at the Everest fire, which is in the southern part of Pueblo and that we're seeing a little bit lower humidity at 30% with winds also at 18 miles per hour gusting to 23 miles per hour right now. So we do have a weather alert once again today for a combination of high fire danger and potentially damaging winds. The red flag warnings will be in effect from 11 a.m. today until 8 p.m. And then the high wind warnings are in place now until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning for most of the southern I-25 corridor. Now the Storm Prediction Center has actually issued an extreme fire danger risk for Baca County and portions of eastern Los Animas County today. This is very unusual. We don't see many extreme risks issued by the SPC. So there is a very high fire danger risk overall for us today. So again, avoid outdoor burning. Be mindful of anything that could generate a spark. Make sure to call 911 if you see any smoke or fire today. Now, as far as wind gusts go right now, we're looking at 30 mile per hour gusts to 40 mile per hour gusts along the front range corridor. They're up about five to 10 miles per hour just in the last hour or so, seeing that 40 mile per hour gust measurement right now at the Colorado Springs Airport, but we're still seeing stronger gusts in our mountain areas. A cold front swung through overnight into early this morning. So if you saw any clouds in your sky over the last few hours, that's why. But the moisture is well off to the north. So our friends in the mountains and up in Wyoming, they're getting rain and snow today. Here we're seeing a few clouds this morning, but even those will not be sticking around all day. The winds are going to increase, though, by the afternoon as that system continues to move to the east. We're looking at 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts here on the front range corridor, 50 to 60 further to the south and 60 to 70 in our higher terrain. And they only go up from there. This evening, we're looking at 60 to 70 mile per hour gusts along the front range corridor, 70 to 80 mile per hour gusts in our higher terrain. And if you're traveling north on I-70 west of Denver today or plan to, be aware the winds are going to be even stronger there, potentially looking at some 90 mile per hour gusts on the mountain passes today. Those winds are going to start to decrease tomorrow morning by 11 a.m. They're going to decrease below high wind warning criteria, so that's when those warnings are going to expire for the front range corridor. But if you have any outdoor loose objects, I'd recommend bringing them inside or securing them this morning or early afternoon. Now we do have lower winds tomorrow, but it's still going to be a dry day. Another fire weather watch in place for us and for the same times and same regions um, in southern Colorado. So just this entire weekend, you're going to want to avoid outdoor burning. Temperatures right now for you out the door, upper 40s to around 50 degrees on the corridor. Cooler in the higher terrain, we're at 32 for you right now in Woodland Park. Our highs, though, aren't going to be all that much warmer. We're going to top out in the mid 50s on the Front Range Corridor, upper 50s to low 60s on the Eastern Plains. Now, as we take a look here, we can see this low that's bringing us all of this active weather uh, moving off to the east. So if we look as we look at the future cast for the entire state, we can see the snow showers are going to continue for places like Vail, Aspen and our central mountains today. So just to reiterate, if you're planning to go up some of the ski resorts today, some of them are closing uh, this weekend. It's not going to be a good drive to get there. Strong winds, wind driven snow, low visibility here in our area. We've got very active weather through Sunday, calm weather on Monday, but cool 56 degrees for our eclipse forecast with mainly cloudy skies. So it's going to be a question of whether or not we can see the eclipse at its peak at 1239 p.m. Stay tuned to future forecast updates on that before we dry out heading toward the end of the week with a weak snow shower chance for us on Tuesday. In Pueblo, you'll see the winds today and tomorrow as well. We're going to have a few rain showers for you on Tuesday, mainly cloudy Monday, and then calm as we head through the rest of the week. Canyon City, windy as well for you, but a little bit less than we see on the corridor. Quiet, but mainly cloudy on Monday with a thunderstorm chance for you on Tuesday and 70s returning by Friday. Woodland Park, you'll see a potential snow shower late Monday night into Tuesday morning.